Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the first chapter of Advanced Digital Signal Processing. Before entering into the Advanced Signal Processing for the digital type of the signal, we have been first of all introduced in this chapter to the differences of what exactly the continuous time signal mean, discrete time signal mean and then the digital signal. The key signal processing operation with respect to these signal types we have been demonstrating with the help of MATLAB environment. In the previous videos, we have seen the demonstrations into the MATLAB environment for performing convolution and deconvolution with the various ways here. In this video, we are taking the help of Z transformation. So, let us begin with the topic. <music> So here we start with our topic MATLAB program convolution and deconvolution using Z transformation. I hope the Z transformation is very much clear to you people having the background from signals and systems. So making the use of Z transformation for performance of the convolution and deconvolution, we take the program statement as MATLAB program to perform convolution of the signals, whereas the signals are given as into the discrete time, we have the representation x1 of n as 0 0.4 to the power n times u of n and 0 0.5 power n into u of n. So, this is the corresponding representation from for x1 of n and x2 of n. So, u of n is nothing but the unit step signal that we have already generated in the MATLAB environment in few of the starting videos here. Now, this task we have to accomplish for the convolution by using the Z transformation. Along with the task of convolution, we have to also perform deconvolution for extraction of these original discrete time sequences by the use of Z transformation here. So, let us accomplish these two tasks for convolution and deconvolution one by one into the MATLAB environment. So, we switch to it. So, in the MATLAB environment, we require the untitled script here. So, in this untitled script, whatever the variables you can see into the workspace, the command window, it is having the output from the previous program. We want all these to be get cleared here. So, I just mentioned close all, then clearing all the variables and wanting it to have the command window clear screen here. So now the very first line I start with the purpose of having this particular program I just mentioned here program for convolution and deconvolution using Z transform. So now for using the Z transform, we will be definitely switch from time domain to the transform domain by having the forward transformation syntax here. And we shall also be requiring the parameter to represent the time into the discreteness here. So therefore we begin first of all with sims the parameter as we are having the discrete time representation of the signal, it will be n. And for the Z domain, I just mentioned Z here. So, thereupon, the generation of the given two signals we can be making, and it will be holded up by the variables named as X1N and X2N here. So, X1N, so this is the Z domain uh, representation we shall be processing for first of all the discrete time representation here. So, X1N as given from the program statement is nothing but 0 0.4 to the power n here and this is multiplied by the unit step signal. In the similar fashion we have x2n. So, x2n is having 0 0.5 to the power n here. So, ending the syntaxes by semicolon here. Now, we are going to make the use of forward transformation. So, this time it is not the Laplace transform, it is the Z transform here. So, the variables to hold the transformed versions of these two signals 
that are currently into the time domain we switch to x1 z and x2 z so x1 z can be obtained by carrying out forward z transformation onto the x1 n here so for forward z transformation the syntax here we have z trans here and to this syntax we have to provide the input that is x1 n into the discrete time domain here now in the similar fashion we can have the transformation of second signals also so i write here z trans and provide the input x to n here now as we know that whatever convolution operation we expect into the time domain that will get simplified to be a mere multiplication or having a product of the transformed versions into the transformed domain so as we have got transformed we can carry out a simple multiplication here so the multiplication can be holded up by the new variable that i name to be x3z here and the x3z we can obtain by having x1z asterisk x2z here and when we get back to the original discrete time domain so that time the x3 that time it will be n x3 n will be the convolution of the two signals in original case so now for that purpose we have to carry out the inverse z transformation so we move further here we take the symbol convolution of first and second to be con12 here and apply the inverse z transform i z trans here and provide the input variable as x3z that has been computed into the above step here so this way we can get back from z domain to that of the discrete time domain here so after getting back we have to display that result also so i just display it so within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes i just mention convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n is by the next line we can have displayed this particular convolution result so we write simplify and the variable input is con12 here now thereupon we can use deconvolution here so convolution we have obtained for deconvolution to extract the original discrete time sequences we can say we can make the use of variables decon underscore x1 z here so this we can obtain from the transformed version into the z domain so the convolution result that is the multiplication into the transformed domain that is x3 z here this can be divided by the z domain version of the second signal that is x2 z here and after having this particular variable holded up that result if we get back by the inverse z transformation into the discrete time domain it will be the original signal x1 of n here so for that purpose i just mention here decon underscore x1 n here so this is equal to i z trans and the input is decon underscore x1 z here and after obtaining it into the discrete time domain we can have it displayed onto the command prompt here so within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes i just mention here the signal x1 of n obtained after deconvolution is so that deconvolved signal will be represented here by simplify and thereupon we shall be providing the input variable decon 
underscore x1 n here. In the similar fashion, the second input signal can also be obtained, can also be extracted by performing deconvolution operation. So, for that purpose, DECON underscore X2Z can be obtained first of all by X3Z that is the multiplication of transform version. It means the convolution of the two signals into the time domain divided by X1Z here. Then we can write DECON underscore X2N into the discrete time domain that can be obtained by inverse z transformation so i z trans here and that is provided the input d e c o n underscore x2 z here so here we shall be displaying it onto the command prompt the string can be the signal x2 of n obtained after deconvolution is so here we will write simplify and the variable as the input here so the variable is decon underscore x2 n here so this is the script we have written to make the use of z transformation forward and inverse transformation for performing convolution and deconvolution so i just save the script so i just name it as program 1 underscore 13 so that program has been generated into the current directory even the name has been changed here onto the title and now we can run this program so as we run this program we can see the corresponding changes have been occurred into the workspace the current variables that we have worked with in this script have been generated into the workspace. You can see CON12, the DECON, X1N, X1Z. So, in both of the transform and the discrete time versions, we have this. So, here we have the command prompt, and onto the command window, we have convolution of X1 of N and X2 of N. The displayed result is phi u in multiplication to 1 by 2 having the power n minus 4 in multiplication to 2 by phi u having the power n here and after deconvolution making the use of z transformation the first signal we have obtained 2 by phi u to the power n and the second one 1 by 2 to the power n so 1 by 2 we know that is nothing but the 0 0.5 phi u to the power n that was the second signal and 2 by 5 0.4 here we can get back to the problem statement we had so 0.4 to the power n 0.5 to the power n these were the original two signals so after this matlab demonstration by the next lecture we shall continue into the same chapter to have the fundamentals with respect to the signal processing digital signal processing getting cleared the another key operation that is the correlation we are going to cover into the next video thank you